Welcome to April's LeetCode Challenge. Today's problem is remove nth node from end of list. Apologies for the audio. I'm actually on vacation right now, but I just couldn't stay away. I, I do want to solve these problems. So here's the question. Given the head of a linked list, remove the nth node from the end of the list and return its head. Follow up, could you do this in one pass? Now, if we were allowed to do this in two passes, it would be pretty trivial. What we would do is move one pass through our linked list and find the length of our uh, of our linked list. After we know what the length is, it's pretty easy to figure out what the nth node from the end of the list is. All we need to do then is to move towards the node that's one before that nth node and then make that next equal to the one uh, that's pointing to next. So that would be easy. That would be trivial, in fact. The only exception to that would be if it was only one length of one, then we'd have to just return a, a, a none. Uh, but if we want to do this in one pass, that makes it a little bit trickier. Um, now, normally with these linked list problems, if you can do only do it in one pass, you have a couple options. You could either store what we've seen in memory, or you could have, or you can modify the linked list itself, or you can have two pointers. You can have a slower and fast pointer, and I think that's what we're going to do here. In fact, they give you that hint right here to maintain two pointers, update one with the delay of n steps. Now, what does that mean? We'll say that we had this example right here. Um, if we had a slow and fast pointer, one pointing, first pointing at the beginning, we'll have slow and fast, and we had an n of 2, say. What we can do is move our fast pointer ahead two points, starting with the 3. Now if we did this, as we move these pointers forward, uh, once we get to the end here, once fast pointer points to none, this slow pointer is at the node that we want to remove. See, the slow pointer says, okay, we want to move four here. And if we look at our answer, that's exactly what we want to do. We want to remove four. Uh, but a lot of edge cases occur here if we do it this way. Uh, and on top of that, we actually want to stop our slow pointer at the node right before the node that we want to pop off. Uh, this way, we can just make the slow pointer now equal to the next of next. And that way, we stop our fast pointer once it no longer points to anything. But the key insight here is that we need a dummy node. We need both our pointers to first start at a dummy node. And the reason for that is we have all sorts of edge cases here where it could have only just a length of 1, or we, where we want to return a none instead of this node itself. Uh, so to do that, we have to first start off by setting up some, some dummy nodes. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean. First, let's start by initializing a dummy, and the fast and slow pointer will also put the point in here. So we'll say this node, and this could be anything, but the next is going to be equal to the head. Now, what this allows us to do is at the very end, since we want to return the head of our new link list, we have our dummy pointer that allows us to know where that head remains at. And this also takes care of a lot of edge cases where we want, might want to remove the head itself. Now we'll be returning a none. So uh, the first thing we want to do is move our fast pointer ahead. And we want to move it n steps. So for, let's say, in range of n, we're just going to move our fa fast pointer ahead, fast.next, however, however far we need to do. All right, so now we have that. We're going to move both pointers now uh, up until we the fast.next no longer points to anything. So while fast.next exists, we're going to move our fast, and we're going to move our slow. Now once this is at that point, we can remind you that this um, the slow pointer will be pointing at the node right before the node that we want to remove. So all that means is we'll just have to update our slow.next to now equal slow.next.next. Now one thing to note is because we have our fast pointer ahead and we know that this is going to stop at like no matter what this is, if the slow pointer is like pointing here, fast pointer is here, uh, well, the fast node will always exist no matter what. So that's why this right here will always work. This even if like the next dot next doesn't exist, it's going to be pointing to a none. So we can always have that working. And finally, we just return our dummy dot next. And that should be it. So let's see if this works. Oh, 
mind somewhere. Okay, it looks like I lost my internet, guys. Hold on with me. I hope that's still there. Okay, it looks like it's still here, so let's go ahead and submit that. Okay, it looks like it's working, so let's submit it. And there we go, accepted. So time complexity wise, it's gonna be O of N, but most importantly, we're doing this in one pass, and we actually we actually use O of one space as well. Alright, so hey, okay, so apologies for the audio, apologies for all that. Um, but Hey, forgive me, I'm on vacation. Okay. So thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.